So I'm going to work this out for you, uh, question three, okay? So we'll continue with our 2020 paper. And um, in this question here, you probably get the first part A, you probably get maybe one mark or two marks. We didn't load the, the, the number of marks here, but essentially get one mark or two marks. Marks can be a great way of uh, strategizing, okay? So two more marks uh, usually means you have to do so much working. But then if it's one mark or two marks, sometimes you don't, um, you do, you do so much work in okay so some students in this question they will do a longer way the longer way would be to say 2 to the power 4 here would be would be uh, 16 okay so plus 2 to the power 3 here would be 8 plus plus 1 so here you get 25 okay so they would actually get 25 it would be in base 10 after they get 25 they do what's called a t diagram so t diagram is how we convert to to any number base form base 10 so here you're in base two. So you keep on putting two in, in there. So you get one, here you get two, then you get remainder one. So you have to uh, collect the, the remainders here, okay. Then you say two into 12, then you get six remainder what? Remainder zero, then two into six, then you get uh, three remainder what? Remainder uh, zero, then you say two into uh, three, then you get one remainder what? Remainder one, then you say one, uh, two into, so you keep on putting two here, into zero, then you get uh, zero remainder, remainder one. Then you have to read from bottoms up. So you'd actually get one, one, zero, zero, one, base two. Okay, so going bottoms up. But then there's a faster way to work out the, the same problem. Okay, so this is how I'm going I'm going to show you. If you were to convert this to base um, base 10, what you do is you first label, so zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you first put your labels here. Then you take the number one, then you take the base two to the power, whatever label that you've put here. And then you say plus, then you move on to this one, it's be one times base to the power, your label. Then you say plus zero times two to the power, your label, okay. So plus zero times, okay, so uh, times two to the power, to the power one, okay. Then plus, then this one is one times two to the power zero like this. Okay, this one is your conversion to uh, base two. So if you actually simplify, you get two to the power four plus two to the power three here plus this one zero zero. So this one will be giving you one. Since this one, it's equal to, it's equal to one. Okay, one times one, you get one. So notice that this expression that we have here is the same expression that we have here. So we can use a method of inspection. How do you do it? So here you have to recognize, you just say, I'm in base two, so I can collect my my number based the power parts, so like this. So I can manipulate this, the way that I would do it is I would say, two to the power four is simply one times two to the power four here. Then I ask myself, do I have two to the power three? Yeah, I have this one, it's single. So I can say plus one again times two to the power three, since I just have a single two to the power three. Do I have um, a two to the power two? No, I, I don't have, so I can say zero times two to the power two, so that there's a placeholder for this. So two to the power one, do I have? I don't have, so I can say zero times two to the power one, like this. So two to the power zero, do I have? Yes, I have, so two to the power zero, like this, okay. So after doing this, what you just have to do is to collect the numbers. So you can say by inspection. Then you say, 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 1 equal to. Then you start collecting these numbers here, 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 okay? Uh, so it'd be 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, base 2, okay? So you just did this in uh, maybe six, uh, maybe uh, 30 seconds if you're really fast, maybe 20 seconds or even 10 seconds, yeah. Uh, whereas with this one, you are actually doing extra steps. And if you're doing extra steps, sometimes you're also making yourself vulnerable, okay? If you don't understand the second method, don't use it. Just use this longer method. It's still fine. But then if you understand uh, the first method, then use this one because it's it's better and it's 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 faster, okay? So let's see the for, the, for this one. It says evaluate. Then you have uh, item 1, 3, 4, 3, uh, base 5, plus 4, 4, base 5. So 3, 4, 3, base 5, plus 4, 4, base 5. So here, what you do is, um, you say 3 plus plus 4, then you get 7. 
but then you don't write 7 because you're in base 5. You actually have to break down and say 7. What, what is 7 really? It's one set of, one set of 5. Then plus, remainder what? Remainder 2. Okay. So this is how you'd write it. Uh, just so you understand, we can be given, let's say, 77 plus uh, 85 like this. Just in base 10. So you'd be saying 7 plus 5, then you get what? You get 15. So 15 is equal to 1 set of 10 plus remainder 5. So this is what we do. So we actually put 5 here, the remainder, and then we carry the 1 set of 10. This is what we'll be doing. Okay. So if you say this one plus this one, then you get 16. Then you say 16 again is equal to what? 1 set of 10 plus uh, remainder 6. So this is this is how you'd be how you'd be uh, working this out. Okay. The reason I'm telling you this is that it's the same way you're supposed to uh, work this out. But then here they don't explain because they want you to be fast. And it's also it also starts in primary school where you, sometimes you're just given concepts that you don't really understand. So here I have six. My remainder. You always write the remainder. Then you write the number of sets here. So here it's just one. Okay. So in the same way that we're doing it, we are supposed to do it here. The only difference is we're in base five. So we reset in, in base 5. So you can say 3 plus 4, then you get 7. Then you are setting how many sets of the number of base, which is 5, do you have? And how many remainders? Okay, so remainder, it's, it's 2. So you leave the remainder here. Then you carry the number of sets. So again, you, you find 9 here. So 9 is equal to what? Um, 1 set of 5. Okay, so 1 set of 5 plus remainder what? Remainder 4. So you actually just write your, your remainder here. Then you carry your set again. Then this one plus this one, then you simply get um, four. So you can say four like this. So this one, it's actually equal to four, four, two, best five. So that's how you would uh, work it out. Uh, on this part here, you asked you um, give your answer here in uh, in base eight. Okay, so you're subtracting this part. So again, if you're subtracting, let's say you're subtracting uh, 165 minus, let's say 77 here in base 10. So if you're subtracting, you'd be saying 5 minus minus 7. Then you say it can't. Then you put this one here. Why do you put this one? Well, if you want to know why you put this one, you have to know how you read this. So you actually read this as 15. So that means that we added 10 here. So if we added 10 here, uh, well, what were you doing? We're adding 10 because we're in base 10. Okay. In the same way you can do for, for this one. Let me show you. So 6 and 4 minus 7 and 5 like this, 7 and 5. So it's in, it's in base 8. Okay, so it's in base 8. So here you say 4 minus minus 5, it can't. But then what do you put? You don't put 1 here, here you don't put 10 in the same sense that we did for this one and then start reading this as um, 15. You actually put whatever number base you have. For this one we put 10 just because we're in base 10. For this one we're in base 8, so you put 8. So 8 plus 4, then you get 12. Okay. So now you're saying 12 minus minus 5. Then you get you get 7. Wherever you add a set here, you're supposed to add a set here as well. So again, you have to say uh, 7 minus. So for example, here, uh, you'll be getting uh, you'll be getting 8. And then here you have to put 8. Again, you say 6 minus 8, it can't. Then you put 10 again. This one becomes 16. 16 minus. We're putting 10 because we're in base 10. We're in base 10. Okay. So here 16 minus 8. Then you get 8. So for this one, we are putting 10 again. So uh, we're not putting 10. We're putting the number base, which is 8. So 7 plus 8. Then you get what? 15. Okay. So 15 minus minus uh, 8. You get 7. Like this. Then you put your, your 1. So whenever you put 1 set here, you're supposed to put 1 set here like this. So you actually get 77 base 8 again. Okay. So this is how you'd, uh, you'd work it out. Number bases, they are they're very easy to uh, score in. Okay. Uh, so this is how you'd uh, go about it. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do subscribe and like and also comment, uh, chat with us. If you have any questions, if you have any requests, um, also share the videos because it helps others uh, discover our channel. Okay, so the best thing that you can do is to just like the video. Uh, okay, so it encourages to keep on going. So thanks so much for for watching. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Yuba out.